That is really annoying. Anyway, unfortunately my last video I realized after I had recorded two parts of it, I did not have the microphone settings on for the display recorder. Derp moment right there. But I did finally find coal. In fact, I've got 24 blocks of it, not to mention the 12 that I had on the way up here. Yep, now just to go... Ah, sheep. Come on in, buddy. That's right. Don't step... Ah, zombie! Fudge. As I said in the previous video that you didn't hear, I don't really like... I don't really want to do a lot of cussing in this series. Because I will probably do that more unintentionally than not. I'm used to vocalizing a lot of stuff. Main thing I want to do in this episode is collect a bit of wood to make some more sticks and get some coal. Unfortunately, there is a, a ton of zombies out tonight. On the bright side, I got my trusty sword swinging from side to side. People who know Captain Sparkles would get that reference. <laughs> Alright, let's go get some wood. That's what she said. I can't wait till I do the hunger bar. Because I will change the texture pack to make the pork chops into bacon. Bacon is probably the only food that is universally enjoyed. Alright, let's get some more. I do kind of not like how the fact that if you literally chop down all the trees in your world, you're screwed for wood until the world size increases or they include saplings. Just spaz the wood planks button. Make a few torches. And boom! We are set for a while. I guess now I can probably focus on expanding the Macmillan Shanty further than I did in the last video. Make it comfortable for me. Might even get a sheep. Or a pig. Or a cow. I want to lead a chicken into my house. That's the one thing that I honestly would kill for. Mainly because... They're probably the small, they're the smallest animal you can get in Pocket Edition. And the debate about them, whether or not they're ducks or chickens, is just so funny to see how people will get so into it sometimes. In my opinion, they look like ducks. But if not says they're chickens, then they're chickens. I forgot to tell you, but I also placed down a few torches in the last video. And I learned something. That if you can hear the audio, or the game audio when you're recording on Display Recorder, you probably don't have it set for the right settings if you're trying to do a commentary. <laughs> I failed at that. But you know, I failed more than once in this series. Hey. I can make a house down here. This will be the Macmillan Retreat. And there goes the torch. And I nearly forgot to mention this. There is a bug to where if you dig the block underneath of a torch in creative mode. And in survival mode. Well, in survival mode only. It won't give you the torch back. Just kind of a helpful hint for anyone playing Pocket Edition or that are new to the game. You know, this might actually turn out to be a pretty nice place. I'll put that there as counters. Craft a crafting table down here. And put it right there. When they get furnaces, I'll put it right there. 
That was kind of stupid. I should have switched to the axe first. Ah, there we go. I thought it was about to freeze on me. There we go. Haha. -ha. It's like a little cafe. The wall of resources is what I'll call it. Yes. The wall of resources. Or should it be the wall of resourcefulness? I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Allergies are a little fluctuating today. Oh, and just so you know, I was one of the lucky ones chosen to represent my state in the NAEP testing, or the National Advancement for Educational Progress. And let me tell you something. If you ever get told you're going to be taking that test, <clears throat> don't worry, because I took the math one. I'm terrible at math. And a ton of them were literally common sense. I kid you not, I probably answered half of those in less than 10 seconds, and the first section had 35 questions. You had 15 minutes to do it, and I finished it early. Unbelievable. Although it's kind of cool because it did not take me that long to actually finish the test. I'm amazed that it wasn't as difficult as the end of course exams we take. Actually, that was the part that shocked me a little. I think I have enough cobble to spare for a staircase. How many blocks of cobble do I have? Wrong button. I've got at least 364 stacks, so yeah, I've got plenty of cobble. Not too bad. This is probably what I'm going to do when uh, <clears throat> the Minecraft Xbox comes out. The first thing I'm going to do is start the mining process, mostly because I won't have to do as much work thanks to the fact that they will have caves in Xbox. <coughs> And I love that glitch that uh, you have to mine the wooden uh, slabs. I find that to be both a little weird and cool at the same time. Probably something that I will have to tell my special guest star tomorrow. The best part is I just realized this. I could have him playing on my server. While I record the audio, him and I having a discussion... If you have any questions you'd like to know, feel free to tweet them to me at Seth McMillan. I will hopefully get to most of the questions before the video, or before we have to end the video. He's going to be here from 3 to 5, so I'm assuming we'll probably have a longer video than normal. So it's a win-win, really. You gotta be kidding me. If I had dug a little further, I would have hit gold. Like I said previously, before I hit any coal. Unbelievable. Alright, how far are we even down? I don't think... Should gold spawn at this level? Let's see how many blocks we have, first of all. There's... What, three... Three so far. There might be more if I dig down, but that has never worked for me before, so. Yeah, there's three blocks of gold ore that I can use when the furnaces are added. Well, that means I'll have to reduce this down one more. And there would be block number four. I can dig you back up. Alright, we are almost out of stairs. 
You know, that means we've been doing a good job. Alright. Well, it's a good thing I don't have to go that far for a crafting table. Just make a few more stairs. Oh, and also the best part about having this underground system, which I named the Retreat McMillan, is that I can do videos longer without worry of zombies attacking me. And I'm kind of glad that this did not get caught on camera, because on the last video, I had actually died. In a way, I am very thankful for the fact that they did not, that I did not actually get that on camera. <laughs> but, yeah. I was trying to dig down to find my way to the mine to give it another skylight. And it fell. I think I made a few too many stairs. Oh well, better than having too little. <laughs> I still can't believe I hit. That's unfair because here's the gold. I found the coal all the way down here. In fact, this whole cavern was based around the fact that I had found coal. Now, if that just isn't weird. Let's see. We have 12. Oh. Speaking of such, I should probably put this down. That way, if I do die again, I don't have to worry about retrieving iron. I can waste any form of wood on here. I can forget about simple items like picks if I lose those. I can rebuild those, but... Hunting for iron when you strip mine, it's not the hardest ore to find in the game, but it's not the easiest either, at least from what I've done. So let's make a wall of iron. Well, I know the title for this video. Alright, now let's craft, which I don't know why I keep hitting the pause button. Dandelion yellow. Let's get the shears out and get some sheep. Oh, and for anyone who doesn't know, you can pick up items that you dropped on your inventory unless it's full by doing this, pressing down on it till you see the green bar fill, walking over to it, and it works just like that. If it doesn't work for you after that, then I wish I could help you, but I can't. See, I knew I missed a staircase somewhere. I hardly ever finish anything without having at least 16 left over. Anywhere between 16 and 64 is my lucky number. Ah! Really? Oh my god. Ah! No! No dying! No dying. I said that in the last video, and I died. I'm not going to lie again to the camera. That's right. You better go down. What is it with these zombies? They're always trying to attack me, bro. At that point, I'm probably going to put an end to this video. If you like, rate, subscribe, comment, leave a question at Seth McMillan on Twitter. I don't really like sharing my Facebook information. What are you doing? You're not going to get me. Oh, poor little zombie. Come at me, bro. I'm unarmed. Here, I'll throw out my sword for you. Come and get me. Apes. Apes, apes, you're dead. Thanks for watching.